Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and I'm back with another Tip Tuesday video for you guys. I have a lot of questions about storage and how I store certain products. I definitely do not have it perfected. I am constantly changing my storage methods, but this is one that I've kind of stuck with at least for the last year and seems to work. So I wanted to share with you um, how I store my clear stamps and then also how I store some of my die cut pieces. So I make these little clear pockets here and you can purchase stamp pockets. I believe Avery L has some um, that you can purchase. So if you don't want to make it, you don't want to buy this tool, you can do it that way. Um, but this just happens to be a very cost effective way for me to do it. So I start out with a clear protector sheet one of these and you can just find these in the office supply section it's just a page protector and so i can get actually uh, two stamp pockets and two die cut pockets out of this one sheet so i feel like that's pretty cost effective for me you do need one of these uh, little tools here this one is from project life and this gets super, super hot. It's really hot right now. It's all plugged in. Um, and that little piece there actually moves along the plastic and melts the plastic. So that's how you're able to seal your pockets. So I went ahead and cut down this sheet already. Here are the measurements that I use. So I actually cut um, right along this line here so I don't know if you can see it but there's this where the holes are actually cut just to the left of the uh, seal there cut that off and then I cut that remaining piece down to down in half which ends up being four and three eighths so two pieces at four and three eighths and then I cut here so that they're six and three quarters inches tall. I hope that makes sense. So what you are left with then are two pockets that are four and three eighths inch wide by six and three fourths inch tall. You can just guesstimate if just cut it in half. That's what I go for. And just figure out what works best for you. And then you're also left with two smaller pieces that I um, make into those pockets for the die cut pieces. So I just cut that, that piece in half and there are those. So you get these pieces here and we're actually going to melt the edges here. So I have already, let's see which one's not done. So this one isn't done here. And you can see this is the edge that's already created on the pocket. This is that bottom edge that's already created on the pocket. So I only have to melt one side there. And what I do is I have a few pieces of cardstock here and then I also put some foam down. This is from my stamp positioning tool, but you could just use some craft foam. I found that that kind of helps. This tool is not perfect. It's really finicky. Um, I've tried a bunch of different things to get it to work smoothly and I just cannot get it to work. So bear with me. We'll see what happens. Um, you want to use a metal ruler so that your ruler doesn't melt. And I just line this up on the open edge and give myself like an eighth to a quarter of an inch margin there. And then you're gonna take the whole tool. This has been heating up for over 15 minutes. You wanna make sure it's good and hot. And it has this little wheel at the end here that moves. And so you just want to play with the pressure. You don't want to push too hard or it will actually um, just drag it. You don't wanna to move too slow, not too fast. You kinda of just have to play with it to get it just right. And that actually worked. It doesn't always go as smoothly. <laughs> so, and now I have a pocket that's completely sealed up. So, I will go ahead then and put some pieces of cardstock. Have those already cut over here. So the inserts, the cardstock, is cut to four inches wide by six and a half inches tall. And this will just slide right in here. And this just gives me a backer to my stamp so that they're easier to see when they're in the pouch. So you can see this pocket's actually a little bit tighter, which is nice. But then this way I can see what the stamps are. And then I just take a label maker and make my label. So I want to know the company and then the name of the stamp set. You don't have to do that. For me doing things on um, YouTube, I need to know that information. So I would just put that on 
the little card there. So I usually just sit down and make a whole bunch of those all at once and store them so that they're ready to go. For these little pockets here, same thing. So this actually only has one side that is closed. So you are gonna have to do uh, two passes here. So I'm gonna do the bottom. Again, leaving myself like an eighth to a quarter of an inch little piece there. And then I'm gonna go over with the heat tool. Man, apparently I need to just always film when I do this because it actually works. <laughs> okay, and then that other open edge. And this doesn't have to be as precise because you're not trying to fit a stamp set in there. You're just gonna put your loose die cut pieces. So now I have a pocket. If you wanted, you could close the top with washi tape, that way they don't fall out. Um, but I just take my stamp sets and those get stored standing upright in one of these collapsible bins. This one's from Walmart. It's just a shallow bin that unfolds and then I can just stand all my stamp sets up like this and that way I can just flip through and see them very easily. And then for my die cuts, I just have a smaller little container that I can stand them up in or stand them up in the edge of that bin with this. And like I said, you could very easily fold it over, washi tape it, and take it on the go with you. Very, very simple. You could do this with your print and pray items if you wanna pre-cut your print and pray items and put them in a little pocket like this. Or um, another thing I've done in the past is one of these containers. I think this one is from Target and it's just a clear container that I can store my die cut pieces in. Um, and this is for some of the ones that I have like a lot of would go in something like this. Um, so it just kind of depends on what you like. But um, that's the little tip for storage. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comments down below. I'll try to, try to answer those. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.